just when you think it's the same old thing, it actually turns out to be something way different. Hey guys, I usually don't do reviews for games too often, mainly because I liked writing them. I used to write them before, and doing verbally is kind of difficult for me for expressing how I feel about a game. Usually I have to sit down and write something for like an hour or two, but since this is a pretty big deal for me, Telltale has been doing the Batman series, and at first I wasn't really going to do anything about it, especially when you play the game, because the game plays out very much like a normal Batman sort of narrative. Um, sure, Telltale, the, there's two things that I'll say first off. For a technical side, this is probably one of the best games Telltale has made tech-wise, because they have had a long track of crappy, glitchy, delayed, cutscene animations, noise effects, and everything. Game of Thrones was one of the worst experiences I've ever had with a game tech-wise since anything Obsidian has ever made. So, I was a little bit hesitant. Sure, we are now on an older engine, but the thing is that I've always found amazing is how Telltale has never been able to fix this crap. And it happens like maybe once a little bit in the Batman series episode one, except it's not nowhere near as bad as any of the other previous titles. So I'll definitely say that was good. The other thing is, I actually very much enjoyed the idea of being Bruce Wayne and Batman, that both of them are just as important as the other and each are working towards their own goals. And it's actually, the first thing that I'll say is how quickly the narrative changes. At first we thought we're totally going along the whole long Halloween sort of track. And then it changes. Oswald Cobblepot is this rebellious uh, against the 1% kind of guy. Very interesting. Doesn't look anything like how he's always been interpreted. Short and fat. This guy's tall and lean. So I like that aspect. I also like the aspect that Catwoman knows who you are basically right off the bat. And then came the biggest twist, which is the idea that the Waynes had a history with the crime boss, with all of criminal uh, criminal organizations in Gotham. When we heard that at first, I was like, okay, I think I've seen that in a comic book before. Originally, it's just a false interpretation. But then, at the end, when you get Carmine Falcone, and he says that the Waynes were in implicated and were the biggest mobsters in town, you're like, wait, who, what? Wait a minute, what's going on? And that was probably the best part about it. At first it starts off with a very standard, run-of-the-mill sort of Batman story because we've got Harvey Dent, we've got Carmine Falcone, and then it changes, which actually I really did enjoy. So while the first half is a bit run-of-the-mill, the action obviously is as limited as it can be for Telltale, and I honestly think that if you do the motions, it's still in the same stuff will still happen. I felt like that happened a lot. And mind you, thank God it's a lot more tech upgraded than the previous Telltale games, otherwise it would have been a mess. So in the end, I'm going to give Batman, Telltale's Batman, Episode 1, a 5 out of 7. I'm very much excited to see what the next episode will do. Um, because just of how this episode ended. I, I like the idea that there's a bit more backstory. We're going in a different direction with the Wayne family. And thank God, because that's something that I've wanted to see for a long time. So I'm kind of surprised that I'm, I swear I have a comic book that kind of goes in this direction. Anyway, guys, that's all for me. I'll be reviewing the next episode promptly. So see you guys next time.